Thank you. Well, homeowners in many neighborhoods throughout Tucson are calling for racist language to be removed out of the conditions, covenants and restriction documents for purchasing or even selling a home. News 4 Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish spoke with a U of A professor that noticed the racist language when he was purchasing a home. Gabrielle. Yes, and I'm here at City Hall where City Council members discussed during a meeting today of how to remove that racist language from the covenants, conditions and restrictions. Now that has been in place since the 1920s, but they are calling on the Arizona State Legislator's Office to help remove those that language. Um, blacks and Hispanics and Asians, they're not allowed to vote, they're not allowed to live in the area. Language similar to that is what U of A professor Jason Drogovich discovered in the conditions, covenants, restrictions when he tried to buy a home with his husband who is black. Our language included racist terminology, um, specifically stipulating that the home could not be sold, uh, rented or leased to any person of African or Asiatic descent or by any person who is not of the white or Caucasian race except, except as domestic servants. Dragovich then decided to call the title company to question the language as he was strongly considering walking away from the deal. And they said that, that in order to close the real estate deal, um, we needed to sign the document even though uh, that covenant was illegal. And I said, well, my husband is African-American. What do you want me, what should you, what would you tell him? And they said, well, tell him not to worry about it because it's illegal. The U of A professor wants the racist language removed from all CCNRSs as the Supreme Court ruled in 1948 that racial restrictive housing is not enforceable. But this language still exists within the CCNRs of neighborhoods like Miramonte, Catalina Vista, Palo Verde, the Midtown area, and more. So even if we wanted to modify the document to correct for the racist language, our, the way our covenants are written, at least for our neighborhood, prevent us from doing that. Now the U of A professor is creating a map locating more than 150 neighborhoods in the Tucson area that has that racist language in its covenants, conditions, and restrictions. We reached out to the HOA and we have not heard anything back. Reporting live from City Hall, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.